So we're going to look at file structures. So remember that a file is a sequence of records. And a record is a sequence of fields. A database is actually stored as a collection of files that store records. We will see this later on. But remember this terminology. A file is a sequence of records and a record is a sequence of fields. And then a database is nothing else than a collection of these files. So let's see how these files can be stored. There's different ways of arranging these records in external storage. And we'll look at three. Sequential, indexed and hashing, which is a special type of indexed file organization. So sequential file organization, as the name implies, is that you store the records in sequential order. So they're stored one after another in the order in which the data was written or added to the file. And then records can only be accessed sequen sequentially, one after the other. So if you want to find a record that is in the middle of the file, you have to go through all the records that are before that specific record that you're looking for. And also the sequential file representations are characteristica ca characterized by the fact that they have an end of file marker, as you can see here on the slide an EOF marker that indicates this is the end of the file. There's no more records to be found after that. So to process a sequential file, you can see we can use, for example, a while loop and say, well, we have not reached the end of the file. We just read the next record and process it. And that's the way we can go throughout the whole file in a sequential way. So what if we don't want to look at other records and just find a specific record immediately because obviously that would be quicker. If we want to do that or we need to do that, we use indexed file organizations. So what we do, we don't only have the data file that contains the records, we also have an index file. And this index file F actually indicates for each data record how to find it. And it does that by maintaining a key of the data record and an address in memory or on disk of where the specific record that belongs to that key can be found. So you can see this here on the, on the picture. This is the index file with the keys and the addresses and it is the data file. That actually is the file that contains the records of data that we want to look into. So if we want to find a specific record in such an indexed file, we load the index file, which is obviously smaller than the data file. We search the index file to find the desired key of the record that we're looking for. We get the address that belongs to this specific record here. And we just retrieve only the data records from the data file using the address. So we don't need to load the whole data file into memory and we can just access it directly on disk. So if we don't want an extra file, like an index file, we can also use a function that actually directly gets a key and maps it to the address. So we don't have to look it up, but we can calculate it. If we do that, we have files that are using a technique called hashing. And the function that we use to map the key to a specific address is called a hash function. So here we can see it, we take the key, we calculate the address of the record that we want to find with a specific hash function, and we get the address and we use this address to just access only that record in our data file that we want to look for. So these are three types of arranging your files, sequentially, indexed or using a hash function. So in the next part, we'll start looking at databases, which, as I said before, is basically a collection of files.